Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open a new file on SQL, how to save our existing file, and then if our files are saved, then how to see the previous queries, okay? So first of all, let's start my SQL workbench. Let's open it. Our first step is to learn how to open new files. So to open the new file, we have to click over here, the SQL plus symbol, which is here. Okay, so just click over here and you can see your file is open. Got it? Now, write your query. So suppose I'm writing use employee DB, select star from attendance. Correct? Now just run it. Our result is here. Okay, now we want to save this query. We want to save this file. So how to save it? Either we can use Control S or we can simply go here. Okay, save a script. So I'm using Control S. Now the important thing is here that uh, to save any file, we have to use .sql extension. Okay, so let's suppose I am giving its name as a SQL query one. Okay dot sql is mandatory okay now save now our file is being saved correct now uh, let's have another example so i'm going to open new file by using this symbol we have to use this symbol okay extreme left now i'm writing here select this time i am going to use some date one select date one from attendance okay so suppose this time i want to save this file so how to do it simply use control s and then save sql query whatever name you want to give dot sql dot sql extension is mandatory now save Okay, so both are both the files SQL query 1 and SQL query 2 are saved. Now just close these files. Okay, so this time we want to see our previous queries where they are. Okay, so how to do it? For that you have to go here at file. Okay, and then you have to select here. Open SQL script. Open SQL script. Okay. When you will click over here, then you will see your path. So, in whatever folder you have saved your query, you have to remember that and then you have to go to that path. So, my files are saved here. Okay. So, I am uh, clicking over here. These were my files SQL query 1 and SQL query 2. So, firstly, I am opening this SQL query 1. So you can see my code is saved. It, it is as it is here. Okay. Now let's open another one. So another code was, another query was SQL query 2. Double click. And then you can see your second query is also in front of you. So by doing this, you can open new file. You can save your file and you can see your existing file. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video guys. If any other question, any other doubt, guys, please comment in the comment box. I will be more than happy to serve you. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.